What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea World Productions. We got the Snyder Cut this week, you guys. It is officially, we are officially in the week of experiencing one of the greatest comic book movies of all time. And I'm stating that, and I haven't even seen the movie. All I've seen is these glorious teasers and trailers, and I'm so excited, you guys. This movie is going to blow people's minds. Four hours of all just glorious. All hail Zack Snyder. I am so happy for this man. Hashtag for Autumn. I cannot believe he's finally get to tell and let his fans enjoy the true vision of his vision. I am so ecstatic, you guys. We've gotten some early reactions and some early reviews. Don't worry, I won't be diving deep into any kind of spoilers. I haven't seen any spoilers for this film other than what we've seen in the teasers and, you know, the trailers. But I'm just going to be going over some of the early reactions and, you know, what people thought about the film. Because essentially, man, we're all about to experience this shit this week. Thursday cannot get here soon enough. And I cannot wait, you guys. I'm so damn excited for this. So excited. It's just unfortunate that I won't be able to experience this in a movie theater because that's where I want to experience this. And the, I, you know, the IMAX version, I need that. Like if they ever do a re-release and, you know, when once theaters reopen in L.A., I'm definitely going to catch my my tickets for the Snyder Cut. And I'm just hoping and praying that Warner Brothers, they, they do some kind of re-release in, in theaters for a limited amount of run because you have fans out there who would love to see it on the big screen and who is willing to pay $20 a ticket like me to experience the Snyder Cut again. And I cannot wait, you guys. But let's dive deep into some of these early reactions. Zack Snyder's Justice League is a miracle of a movie when you take into account how we got here and how great the final product is. A four-hour epic and dazzling visuals, a grand score, more consistent character development and tone. Justice League has been done and Zack Snyder can be proud. That's what I'm talking about. Character development is crucial when introducing these brand new superhero characters to the big screen for the first time. And what happened in the theatrical run, they ripped apart all of their backstory and it was just a terrible idea. And that's why we got that bland ass, terrible, terrible theatrical version in 2017. That's just so unfortunate. Let's move on. Snyder's Justice League is one of the best superhero movies ever made. The long awaited cut lives up to the hype and feels unlike anything we've seen in this universe before. Each character is fully realized and gets their moment to shine and kick some ass. <laughs> I love that. Love that. The Snyder Cut is a masterclass in what a difference a filmmaker makes. Josh Whedon did do a hack job on Zack Snyder's vision and it's Heartbreaking and fascinating to see. The film is a true Justice League story and Snyder's best film to date. Snyder's best film to date. <laughs> Y'all, that's exciting. The Snyder Cut is everything fans had hoped for. Maybe more. It's true, though. It's lighter in tone. The DC team of Blockbuster we've, oh, we've waited for. Still has heart and character moments. I teared up multiple times. Oh, Snyder has a pair. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Ooh. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Zack Snyder's Justice League was amazing. Everything I had hoped for and more. I loved every second, every frame of this film. The ending. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that cliffhanger. It's that cliffhanger everybody's talking about. The Snyder Cut. This film was amazing on all levels. Definitely a cyborg-centered film. I loved Ray Fisher's performance. Hashtag Borg Life. It was legit. Also, I want Junkie XL to compose a score for my life. Cannot wait to listen to the score later on this week. Man, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I just watched Zack Snyder's Justice League. Wow, I love this film. The theme of family was prevalent throughout. A strong message about the bond between parents and their children. It's connected with me on an emotional level. Zack Snyder's Justice League is an epic film that explores all leagues and stories and difficulties and brings them together in a seamless way. It allows the audience to feel the gravitas of events and the hardships, the defeat, the joy, and the dare I say humor perfectly. Oh, <laughs> Nothing but great things. Nothing but great things. It's all centered around, it looks like, about the character development, the cinematography, the visual effects, the score, the action. We're gonna, we're gonna get some huge fucking scenes in this movie, and I cannot wait. I can't, I can't express to you guys enough what we're going to experience come Thursday. This is on a whole nother level, and I cannot wait, man. I love the fact that people are really excited about Cyborg. 
he is the heart and soul of the film. And I, can, I understand why Ray Fisher pushed so much during these whole allegations and the, he, the, the true vision of what he wanted his character to be shown in the theatrical run just wasn't there. Like, and I can understand the frustration, the anger, like you ripped apart this black character and you sidelined him essentially. You know what I mean? We, when, when Zach said he's literally the heart and soul of the movie and the theatrical version just literally ripped it out. I was like, no, 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 we're, we're cool with that. Like it's, it's devastating. It's, it's, a, it's a devastating blow. And I understand, you know, where Ray Fisher's coming from. You know what I mean? It just, it sucks. It ultimately sucks. So I'm, I'm really excited for Zach, but I'm really also excited for Ray Fisher as well. Like he's, he's, he gets his movie shown, his character, his, that the full flushed out of his character gets to actually be revealed come Thursday. So that's really exciting. But man, y'all, I cannot wait. You guys, this is going to be so much fun come Thursday. Expect my review. It's definitely going to be dropping that Thursday. I got the day off. Going to be watching it possibly twice to get to get to really, you know, bring it all in. Eight hours of content of the Snyder Cut. Absolutely. Big stuff coming, you guys. And I just want to say thank you to all the Snyder Cut fans out there who's joining my channel. Literally, you know, pushing my channel past, you know, all new heights. I appreciate and I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. Let's continue to grow together. And let's hashtag restore the Snyderverse together. Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time out of today for watching Serial Productions. Peace.